Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, Motion with Nas. I really hope you've been enjoying the content so far. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure you do subscribe. I'm pretty sure you enjoy all the content that I'm producing out. In today's video, this is what we are going to be creating. We are going to be creating this glass effect in After Effects using Element 3D. And I'm pretty sure you guys have been enjoying all uh, the previous Element 3D tutorials that I've been dishing out. So if you do, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys after the video. Alright, so I've gone ahead to create a composition. I created a 1080 by 1080 composition, 10 seconds long. And of course, I created a solid and I added a gradient ramp with these settings and this color. So I used a radiant ramp. So that's how I was able to achieve this. So the next thing I want to do is to create another solid. So I'm going to right click, go to new solid, and I'm going to name this E3D. So that will stand for element 3D. And every other thing is fine. Click OK. Then I'm just going to bring down my FX console from Video for Pilots. And I'm going to type in elements. And with this, I will have the settings that appear in the effect control. So all I need to do is to go to the same setup. This is what I will have. I will go to create button here. Click. I will have the drop down and click on sphere. And with this, I have this here i would like to increase the segment because if you look closely it does not look as smooth so we need to increase the segment so i'll come down here now increase the segment to let's say 32 so that it will be really really smooth now if i zoom in i say it's actually quite smooth now i can pan around element 3d scene here by just clicking and dragging the next thing i would like to do is to add materials to this so by default it comes with this default material it's just a white diffuse material so i'll go to my presets and I'll go to my fiscal, the one that comes with Element 3D when you install it. And then I'll go to Chrome, right? Chrome is the closest to what we really want to achieve. So I'll click on Chrome and then I'll drag and drop on top of it. And with this, you can see that we have this shiny material or very reflective material. It's actually reflecting the environment. So what I need to do is to tweak this material until we have a transparent glass so i'll click on this click on my chrome material here then i'll first of all scroll down and i'll go to my blend mode on the advanced to add and with that we begin to have something right can you see that we, we can see the grid on the other side so this is the, the way it was before you can see that we cannot see the grid yeah but now if i click on change the blend mode to add now you can begin to see the grid on the other side so it's now more transparent basically if this is not clear enough let me quickly create something else and let me just drag this behind can you see that it's actually transparent but if i change this to then click on this change this to normal can you see that it's no more transparent so changing this to add and you can see what is behind so that's how you get to create that so let me just quickly delete that so it's now transparent but then we need to do some other tweaking so but now i'm just going to go back to click on my material which is the chrome so now i'll just click on the drawback face so we have you know, that interesting thing going on there and i will now go back up we are not going to do anything with the texturing because we are not bringing in any texture we're not going to add any texture to this so but now we're going to start from the basic settings so let me just scroll this to this point so the very first thing i like to do is to change the diffuse color to white and the diffuse leave it the way it is the this ambient i'm going to increase it to 1.50 the specular multiplier i'm going to increase this a lot like 668 percent we're having sorts of differences but you will get to why this is not changing yet just hold on a little bit the environment multiplier will be let's increase this to about 170 percent and then i will have to scroll down now we need to change the reflectivity and that is this is where the whole some of the things will change so by click on this i can go to it maybe it should reflect something like a blue thing going on here now this thing looks very blown out and i think the reason why it's looking blown out is because of the refraction so let us change the reflection to black and then increase the intensity and then for the intensity of the reflection we can drop it down a little bit let's do let's say about 50 percent we can make this more blue like this maybe this would do now it's looking more interesting then i'll scroll down so if you are going to be introducing light into your scene so you can check subsurface scattering so that lights can pass through it and then i can always come back here and adjust some settings so this is just for you if you are going to introduce light into the scene so 
just for the sake of this tutorial I'm, I'm just going to allow that so let me just put in some values here on the intensity i'm going to put 3.4 and i'm just going to allow that for now we are not going to change anything but if there's a need for us to come and tweak some things we will do that so this is the first thing we are going to be creating now we want to create those other shapes that are inside of it so which is practically going to be almost the same so i'm going to create another shape now i'm going to create again and this time i'll create circle again or create a sphere another sphere right so let me call this so i'll just double click to rename our uh, outer sphere click ok then for this i'm going to name it let's say diamond shape click ok and let me hide this by checking this so we won't have to focus on that now on this now what i need to do is to go to segment remember the segment is to increase how smooth the shape is but now we want to decrease it so i can decrease it if i decrease it i can see i have this very funny looking sphere but then it's having this ball thing at the center so what I can do to have that sharp edge is to make sure I check no smoothing and as soon as I do that I have this interesting you know more like a diamond shape and what I will just do basically is to use that same material so I'll go to my same material I can duplicate this let me just duplicate it and then uh, I can rename so let me see if I can rename this so I actually double click so let me undo that so let me see if I can rename this. So I'll call this diamond shape material. Click OK. I'll rename this to outer sphere. And I'll click OK. The diamond shape, I can just make sure I click and drag drop on, on top of this. And the only thing I will just change is the reflectivity. This is blue. So, and I really want this to have a different color of reflection. Open this up. Click on this. Then I'll go to reflectivity here and I'll change the color to something like this and I'll click OK. Then one other thing, I'll like to click on the model itself and then reduce the scale because it needs to be smaller. And if I check this now, you can see that we have these two shapes in here already. So let me click on this and reduce it some more. We have something like this. This is already looking good. We have just one more shape to create, which is another sphere. So I'll click on create another sphere and this time around i'm going to make this really small i'm going to make sure i reduce the scaling some more and increase the segment to let's do 32 so that it to be smooth so i have this going on here for the new sphere that i was created i want to create a very different material for this and i actually want to create a custom made material so i that would require me to go to go back to after effects itself and then create a material and then bring it into element 3d so before we do that let us let me just try and rename this so i'll right click then rename so i'll name this inner sphere okay and i'll click ok so right now it has just the white default material but for so far so good we can just we are good with this now we are just going to click ok and as soon as we do we have this here so let us go ahead and create that custom made material so i'm going to right click and i'm going to do a solid and i'm going to name this gradient so i'm still going to pre-comp it but let me just change the color for this yeah you know for now let us do this first and i'm going to come here apply four color gradient. let me type in gradients and i'll apply four color gradient and i will change the colors All right, so I've changed the colors. These, these are the colors I'll be using. So in addition to that, I would like to have access to the points. You can see that if I move this, I can change the positioning, right? I can, if I move this, I can change the positioning. But I would like this to continuously to change. So you have this color blending animation. So I'll come to my gradient, click on E to have access to my effects. Then open this up. Then I'll go to the position and colors. Then I, I'll take the point. I will alt click on the point and then add wiggle expression to everything. So this is the wiggle expression I'm going to be adding. Press enter. Then I'll do two comma 1000. So I have that. Can you see that I needed that change? So then I'll just have to right click copy expression only then so i'll select this and do ctrl v to paste the expression select 0.2 ctrl v to paste the same ctrl v and if i play this we have this interesting thing going on here 
so i can see that we have all this sharp blending going on here so what i can do is to increase the jitter a little bit right so i can blend in some more yes this is done but all I, what i like to do is to pre-comp this i'll hold on shift ctrl c make sure i move all attributes to new composition i'll name this material and i'll click ok now I'll go into the composition where i have this i want to stack some effects on top of this so i'll right click go to new then i click on adjustment layer and i'll name this turbulence turbulence d which stands for turbulence display i'll click on this then the first effect i'd like to add is fast box blur what that would do is to blend the colors some more so i'll just increase this to about 170 can you see it's blending it well and then now i will now add my top lens display and i will just change this value to 48 which is the amount and change the size to about 902 and then you can just play with the evolution if i still wanted to keep animating i could just animate the evolution here but i actually have the point animated already so we create another adjustment layer right click go to new adjustment layer i'm going to name this mosaic because i'm going to add uh, i'm going to add a mosaic effect to this i'll click on this add mosaic effect this it turn everything to a grid really look interesting but then i'm going to tweak this i'm going to change this to about 139 i'm going to change this to seven All right so i have this grid thing going on if i keep playing this can you see that gives me that pattern that great thing on it which is what i really want to achieve so we are done creating our material you know, go back and i'm just going to hide this and i'm going to go to my element 3d go to custom layers custom texture and maps and i'm going to select the material here so that the element 3d can see it and now i'll go to scene setup so on the inner sphere now i'll click on the default material and this is where i will need to bring in my texture so i'll click on this and i'll click on this drop down select the first one instantly you see the result there and i'll click ok for the diffuse material then i also go to the glossiness click on the drop down select the material now click ok try to you know it will take that material then i'll select reflectivity choose this as well but then in this i'll reduce the opacity so let's say 36 percent and then i'll click ok then i'll go to the normal map click select this then i'll go to the input value put in 0.3 for the first value there the second i'll leave it the way it is and the third it's fine just the way it is as well and i'll click ok then i'll go to the occlusion click select this I'll increase the contrast to 70%, then the saturation to minus 100. So you can have white and black values. You can see that if you zoom in some more, so let me click OK and let me hide this and hide this and zoom in and then span around it. You can see that we have some really, really good details around it and we are good with this. So all I need to do is let's check the other settings that we have here. So I'll reduce the diffuse to nine the ambient to zero specular multiplier to 218 percent the environment i'll do 162 percent the reflectivity should be 17 percent for the illumination i'll use use diffuse color try to just eliminate a tiny bit yes i'm good every other thing is fine so let me activate all of this again and if i check this out this is what we have but one thing i also need to do is to select on each of this go to reflective mode right click on it go to reflective mode make it mirror surface so i can reflect within itself mirror surface last reflection mode mirror surface so it will reflect within itself so now you now have this interesting details going on here and i'll click ok and one other thing you can do to always bring this out some more is to add an effect to this i had deep glow you can use normal glow but i prefer using deep glow using this you can reduce the exposure to 0.2 and i'll reduce this to 400 so you can have just a little bit of some de shiny details there then one other thing is to change the color depth so i'm going to alt click this until i have 16 bits so you can have more color accuracy and then i'll go to my element 3d once again 
go to the render settings i'll go to the ambient occlusion enable that so try to give us some more these are like some tiny tiny details that you might not exactly see but you can see the difference when you start doing one or two things with it you can also go to the physical environment reduce this by 0.85 maybe increase this a little bit right maybe something like this then maybe you can do light influence just in case if you have light in the scene so right light influence so let's leave it like as this still on the physical environment so i can go to rotate environment and i can just rotate it until i get something really really different so let me do about 330 and i'll rotate on the y axis let's do one two three now we have something really interesting so if we keep tweaking this you can have something really really interesting for z environment i think we can just leave it just the way it is and with this i think we are good and all i need to do is to just right click go to new adjustment layer then i'll name this noise so i'll add some noise to this i'll just do five it's fine all right just to enable some blending and not just to make it a little bit less digital then i'll add the last adjustment layer and i'll add curves to this let me name it curves then apply the curves effect for color correction and then i can do something like this adjust it a little bit then i'll go to the blue channel and you just bump this up a little bit and then lastly i'll do another adjustment layer i'll call it vignette click on this cc vignette apply increase the pin light to 100 percent then we can reduce this a little bit tiny bit and yeah this is how you get your glass effect and you can go ahead and try and rotate this so if i go to my group one because everything is in group one if i go to my physical loop i go to the rotation i can you know rotate it x axis right we take this y axis and then apply some animation to this if you want me to how to do a full tutorial on how i get to animate each of the elements inside uh let me know in the comment section and then maybe i'll do that i don't i just don't want this tutorial to be really really long so but this is how you can create the transparent glass effect in after effect using element 3d thank you Hey, I really hope you do enjoy that. If you do, make sure you click on the like icon so that the video can get to as much people as possible. And if you are new, like I said, please make sure you do subscribe and click on the notification bell icon so I can get real-time updates from me. And if you actually you know, use any of this effect, this glass effect in any of your videos or in your motion graphics project, please tag me on nas.k underscore works. That's my Instagram handle. Now I'll be glad to see it and then maybe drop one or two comments or even give you a follow if, if possible. Alright, now I really hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.